Yes, we're just going to continue from where we're at. It looks like Crackling's coming out for top left. Five armor, four attack. And yes, it will. The, the official game without, you know, obviously without the stream coverage will be at least uploaded, as Monty has just said, on MarineArena.info European section. And seriously, I can't believe that damn splash screen was still up. <laughs> I, had t I had two of them checked, and I unchecked one. And the other one was still going. Unbelievable. Thank you for catching that, guys. I do appreciate it. Looks like those warps going after the cracklings. There's already a bunker going down from bottom left. And two saviors still coming out from bottom left. Really interesting choice going out with that early bunker. It looks like there's some back and forth going on from top right hand side. The cracklings are going to come in. No, actually decides to back out. No, they changed their mind. And I think this could be a big mistake. Sizan coming in. Oh no, Minz needs to have some backup support from Grim. There he goes. Grim's coming in. He's going to be doing some damage to Sizan. They're going to. They're going strong. They're going right in. They're pushing that army. That army is melting right now. Unbelievable. That army is going down, and they're having no opposition. Everyone else is fighting at the bottom right hand tower, so that battle cruiser could go down. They're going right into the base, folks. A bunker does go down. They know this is serious. They don't want to waste any saves. And this army is so low, wasting a save now would be devastating. But they have to. They have to do something. Throw down some some turrets or something. Oh, those BCs. They got to get into the action. There we go. And the barracks is about halfway down. If top left continues to put pressure on top right, they're going to have to force a save. That was actually really good play. How much did that feed top left? Oh my gosh, they're at 6,160. Min's at 4,637. They are way, way ahead now in first place. And top right. Oh man, that was really unfortunate. Nice pickoff. Nice pickoff. Very nicely done. He was pressuring that the entire game. It looks like Cracklings are deciding now to punish bottom left-hand side. And those BCs are dangerously low. As you guys know, there's no uh, call downs, mer uh, marine call downs, so they're going to have to rely strictly on their micro ability. There are marine call downs. They only de are disabled when the sudden death activates. Oh, really? I thought it was a, a rule that there was no call downs. Oh, there are call downs, but they oh. are disabled when sudden death activates. So. Okay. So the bug is just with the money, not with the dis it still disables, but there's still it's there's an SD bug. Am I to understand that correctly? Um, at the moment, all bugs are fixed. Well, oh, yeah. everything has been fixed. Um, there will be no more bugs. The sudden death will kick in at one hour mark, and all income will be given as expected. Oh, savior! Top right, use the savior. Uh, let's see who used that. It was Sizan. Uh, I didn't. I didn't see it though. And uh, did that help him in the points? Let's look at the points tab real quick. I mean, it did put him ahead, but uh, he's still. Oh, top right is still far behind. Top left with a dominant lead. It's still going to be Psycho Rabbit second place. Third place though. It looks like actually it's still going to be XC Father Graham. He's doing very well, but Samum is is currently in last place, 2,823, as far as the player rankings are concerned. And oh my gosh, Grim and Minz are just on fire! Look at this, they completely killed the army of Psycho Rabbit. Only a few uh, of the remaining army at the base and two BCs left. They are going on a rampage, they're fighting at all sides, this is unbelievable. And if this continues at this rate, they could be a uh, favored to win right here, this is incredible! A lot of scans yeah. going down. It looks like EXE is going to be able to hold that top right, or that top uh, Zelnaga tower. Scan needs to go down so you can pick off the remaining units. And uh, meanwhile, there is some back and forth going on. Those warp zealots could be coming in. They do surround Father Graham. They're going in. But look, Minz is actually coming around from the backhand side. Psycho Rabbit is going to be able to back him up, but it's not in time. He needs to push forward. Oh no, he's losing all those warps. And Minz is going to get the surround on Psycho Rabbit. Oh my gosh, also Father Graham coming in from the right-hand side. Those BCs are abandoning the army. And there we go, that army completely wiped out. Yet again, Psycho Rabbit. He's in so much trouble. Losing that army twice now. He is down. Oh my gosh, he's only got 117 supply right now. 
And looking at the points tab again, wow, Grim Reaper, he's 2,000 above everyone else. It seems only 1,000 above uh, Doomhammer. But that's still a huge lead. Unbelievable. Doomhammer, though, keeping it real. Look at this, 6,099. He is above men's right now. He's about 400 ahead. But Grim, whoa, he's he's 3,000 at least. He's 2,000, 2,000 what? I mean, this is like 2,600 ahead at least, 2,700. That's a huge gap between Psycho Rabbit and, and uh, Grim. So bottom left, oh, they're in such a, a bad spot. Those BCs might want to focus on uh, sniping some compounds, fighting at the top left-hand side Zelnaga Tower, or the left-hand side Zelnaga. Oh no, but actually getting surrounded by Samum, this could be trouble. The BC does go down. And that's going to be a nice pickup from Samum. Those Warp Zealots coming in a little bit late, but they are going to be able to back up the army. And this is only going to put Psycho Rabbit further and further behind. Ooh, we have an Infestor coming up from bottom right-hand side. A Fungal goes down, and so does a BC. Saizan going to lose that. As well. Raven Do down. Raven got sniped. Do you happen to know who it was? Uh... I didn't see it, but I assume it was Samum. We do have one Raven out. It's going to be for Doomhammer, but that's the only Raven out on the field. There's only one Ghost, so that was Samum who was able to snipe. Three Battlecruisers now. It looks like Saizan's still going Battlecruiser strong. He's at seven attack ups currently. And let's take a look at Min's and see his uh, Cracklings are at five ups, six attack. Grim is at zero armor up, six attack. Wow, it looks like uh, the way Minz is playing, he's going to be the buffer, and it looks like Grim is just going all in. Glass Cannon, look at his Marines, 8 attack for the Marines. Yes, that's exactly what they're doing. Minz, or Grim deciding not to get any armor upgrades at all, hardly any hit point upgrades, just a little bit for his stem so he can stem up a few times. And yes, Minz is going to be the absolute uh, wall, it seems, between Grim Reaper's units. And they're, it's a great combo. They're devastating right now. They're doing so much damage. And uh, how is is there shared control allowed, or is not? Each player has to control their own army. Um, each player has to control their own army at the moment, so. Wow, so the, the micro that you're seeing, the teamwork right now for top left-hand side is totally impeccable. Uh, they're, they're going in at the same time. Those lings are right out front. Grim is very close to the lings, and that's great play. Uh, if the other players can coordinate similar... Uh, they will stand a chance to come back, but sometimes I don't see it. I mean, look at bottom right, Father Graham extending way, way too far. Samim is way back at base. And uh, the the only other tight control I see with teamwork has been top right. I feel like they're they're definitely playing as a team. It's just, I guess the unit combination is just really good with Minz and Grimm. Looking at that points tab, they're still ahead. Unbelievable. EXE and Saizan, though, they're, they're still holding strong. I'll give it that. They could be pushing for uh, first place. Actually, they're very, very close. I think they are. Or not first place, sorry, second place. I think they are. I think they might have pushed bottom left-hand side out of their second place lead. And currently, Saizan is up in the lead right now uh, for that. For, so he's in a second place lead. Bottom right is still suffering, though. We get the points to have 5,650 for Father Graham. Samim only at 4,700. And they did fight at that uh, high ground. They were able to pick off the rest of those warps. And I don't know about this, Minz. Ooh, you shouldn't fight. Uh, I don't think so. There he goes. He does back out. But not without Grim coming around the backside. Now they should definitely engage. There we go. The warp cell is trying to do something. But they're taking heavy losses. Min's coming around behind and surrounding the, the back army. This is unbelievable play. And a save comes out for bottom left-hand side. And was that their last one? Nope, there's still one more. That uh, Psycho Rabbit has a BC that's sitting way, way back, though. It's not in-game. It looks like that Fester putting the fungal down. Wait, what is... Wait, what is that animation? That looks... Is that the leech? What is that? No, that is the... Um... The Dark Swarm ability of the Infestor. And what does that do? Um, it makes it so... It's the same as Guardian Shield, actually. It's exactly the same, only then oh. Infestor. That's really interesting. Uh, we don't have anything like that in the US, so... Uh, what is that called? Swar something uh, Swarm? Dark Swarm. Dark Swarm, okay. So I'll try to remember that. Next time I see it, I'll be able to say, Dark Swarm coming out from the Infestor. <laughs> 
because uh, I've never seen that before. Now, is that something that you put on enemy units, or do you put that on your own units? Well, it works the same as Guardian Shield, so you'd want to put it on your own units. Ah. It, al it almost seemed like it was on their units, and maybe it just it just reduced their range uh, attack similar, you know. Ah, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> yes, but let's discuss after game. <laughs> uh, thank you for the donation. Um, yeah, we'll we'll discuss that after game, buddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're streaming live, buddy. <laughs> thank you, though. Thank you for whispering. I'm really unfortunate that sometimes, uh, I mean, I'm 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 on busy, but I'm glad I was able to get the whispers. At the, at the same time, though, sometimes uh, I I'm I'm very fortunate that I don't just get berated by people sometimes, uh, as it does not disable the chat. I have no idea why, but uh, I have been very fortunate so far. Bottom left is trying to uh, push top left with a siege tank. I didn't see the siege. Oh, there it is. But I did see the hunter killers, and they are doing a lot of damage. How much damage are they doing? Let's take a look. Grim at nine thousand eight hundred. Oh my gosh. Doomhammer though, he's catching up seven thousand five hundred and ninety nine. He's gonna hit the eight thousand mark here pretty soon. Sizen has though. And wait a minute. Yeah, top right. They're taking a much bigger lead now. Psycho Rabbit falling a little bit too far behind. So it looks like first place is wait. No, has Exe and Sizen gone first place in their points? This is close. It's very, very close. Grim and Minz are fighting very, very close with Exe and Sizen in points. Ten minutes have passed. As you can see, Minz is he's almost at that seven thousand mark. Grim is at nine. Uh no, they they're still at first place. Yeah, they're still at first place. Second place is gonna be Exe, Sizan. Third right now, Psycho like Rabbit, Doomhammer, and four is still Father Grim and Samum. But with this play, with this tank play, with the Observer here, we could even see the Barrack Snipe. I really think that Minz needs to go behind the enemy lines right here at this bottom right, uh, or on bo bottom ramp, get behind the back army of Psycho, and then have uh, Grim Reaper come right up the front and try to do some damage. But he needs to split the army, that way there's still a little bit of cracklings in the front. Because look at this, with this concave. Oh, but wait, the High Templar is coming out from Grim Reaper and he did a lot of damage to that siege tank. It needs to be focused, though. A lot of lag going down. Oh, it looks like uh, Monty's lagging a little bit. Uh-oh. Monty, are you here? Uh, he should be in Skype call. Let's just make sure. Oh, no. Monty isn't responding in the Skype call. Oh, he okay, there he is. There he is. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I guess Monty is going to leave <laughs> for now. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, that fixed that, I guess. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that fixed that. Okay, so, uh, Monty, thank you for joining us. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a loss, though. We definitely won oh, in the right. game. Uh, size and sniped Father Graham's uh, mercenary compound with the bat cruisers. Oh, I did not see that. It's too busy focused on, uh, <laughs> on Monty. Actually, three barracks coming down. This is unusual for EXE. It looks like uh, he does still have that save there. But I think he's just worried about these cracklings. These cracklings are so strong. Six armor, seven attack. I would like to see a little bit more hit points. Uh, they are at 206, and if they got more hit points, they would just be so devastating. And we've seen him with High Templar play before, uh, Grim Reaper. And, wow, it's doing a lot of damage. Finally able to push back this concave, or I'm sorry, this hold. They have a choke right here uh, on the left hand uh, side Zalnaga Tower. And it's doing so much damage. Those Hunter Killers are just devastating right now. And there's a lot of back and forth going on. It looks like Samum is going to have the high ground. Fungal Growth going down on EXE. And Minz could come in and pick off the rest of top right with the EXE. He could get the surround, but he doesn't see it. Actually focusing his attention on left-hand side. Storm does go down. And it looks like a lot of units for Psycho Rabbit are going to get destroyed here. He's running. He's in desperation mode. He wants to make sure that those three tanks survive. And one of them goes down. Nice warp in coming in from uh, Doomhammer. Oh, the Battlecruiser died as well. Battlecruiser is down. Wow, Minz's army, 7 attack for the Marines is looking very scary. But these warp zealots now with 5 armor ups. Uh, look at this, 8.5 armor in total. 
he's finally going to be able to do something, I feel, against top left. But he has to make sure that he keeps a big mass. As you can see, a lot of his, uh, a lot of his warp zealots are down. And any time that you play warp zealots, you always want to make sure that each and every one counts. You want to blink behind the enemy to get a good surround, not in front. And you want to make sure that the splash damage doesn't totally annihilate you. So you have to spread your army very thin and get a full surround. Uh, but you have to have a really big supply. And look at this. A lot of this is marines. Oh, a siege tank was out in the open all by itself. Sieged up. That's interesting. It looks like that has been corrected. It. it probably was. It looks like he is going to come in and siege it right here. But this is a tense moment. He could get surrounded here. Oh my god, guys, keep watching. This is unbelievable. It looks like the warpin coming in, but it might be a little bit too late. Those siege tanks are totally exposed. Nice concave coming out from Minz. The storm goes down. And no, Doomhammer is going to be able to stop the uh, the incoming Zerglings. But, oh, the range from the Marangers. Able to pick up one tank and he's, oh no, he's going to lose the warp zelts. Another storm goes down. Is it enough to kill it? <gasps> it oh, it goes down. Unbelievable. But look at this. Triple battle cruiser Yamato Cannon on, uh, on the, on the uh, I'm sorry, Mercenary Compound. Four men's. It looks like his crackling mercenary has been taken out, so that compound needs to be rebuilt. And is he rebuilding it? No, he doesn't have the money. Oh no, and he doesn't have the units either. This could put him seriously far behind. And he needs to start chrono boosting that command center. That way he can get out some marines, and he needs to get into an engagement. Every unit is going to count here. This is actually a really big pickup. From Sizan, that's going to really, really put him far behind. And every second that he doesn't have this compound is money lost. He has to get in somewhere. There he goes. He is fighting EXE. I think he's going to be able to get some kills here. Is it going to be enough, though? No, he's only at 150. That's not enough. That's not enough. He's in so much trouble. Oh, no. What is he going to do? The, uh, oh, well, the 50-minute mark is close. He's only got about, still uh, three minutes. there's still three minutes, but still, uh, Void, that's three minutes. That's three minutes that he's not going to be able to build anything unless he can get the kills that he needs. Yes, three minutes is a lot of time, especially in this game. Oh my gosh, it's a super long time. And, uh, God, I just don't, I just don't know, uh, what he's going to be able to do at this point. Unbelievable. And it looks like Grim does stim up. Grim is going to have to really front uh, the army for for this period, uh, which it, I mean, it might be favorable. It it may be favorable. We'll see how this turns out. Yes, Minz is going to be low on the points, but if Grim Reaper can continue, if he can be strong, uh, I really think that top left still has a fighting chance. I mean, they're not out yet, but this is still a ton of units lost. And see, here's the thing. Grim does not have any armor upgrades. He's just now starting to get hit point upgrades. He relied so heavily on those cracklings being the front lines to be the shield, to be the 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 heavy uh what would you call it? The wall, I guess. Just the tanking. The tanking, the tanks. And this is gonna put this is gonna put Grim Reaper in, in such a pickle. Oh, he's gonna have to fight so hard in this. And you know what we could see some armor upgrades coming out from Grim. It looks like we don't see any yet, but he definitely needs to. Some hit point upgrades. Look at this. The Marangers are only at 232 hit points. Well, the Marines are at 110 hit points, which is quite a lot. I mean, it is, almost... but if, if you think about it, look at this. Like, for example, the Goliaths, 42 uh, damage per hit. They're going to wipe out those Marines so quick without that front line. And, oh, no, I don't know what Top Left is going to do. Ten minutes have passed. He is going to rebuild that center, and oh my gosh, I would say for the remainder of the game, make sure, buddy, that you have at least 350 minerals. I think that's how much it costs to revive. 340. 340. Uh, make sure you have at least that much saved in the bank, because that put him down so far behind. Ooh, uh, High Templar went down from Grim Reaper. Ooh. Doomhammer sniped it with his ghost. Very or nice. He killed it. Very nice. It looks like Father Graham actually picking up the rest of the units here on the right side, Zelnaga. And Father Graham seems like he's like he's a mean hornet. Look at him; he's going everywhere right now. He does not like that he had uh, his High Templar snipe. Now he's deciding to go back to base. I think he just wanted to get enough money to revive it. 
Does he have enough, though? He's at 525. There he goes. He's fighting. Oh, he picked off. What did he pick off there? 75 rank points. Was that the ghost? I think he picked a ghost of Doomhammer. No, he still has it. Um, a hunter killer. A hunter killer. Well, revenge is sweet. He still needs to get the ghost. In fact, running right into the army. Oh, no. Could he be picking off this barracks here? It's going down. Oh, my gosh. Transfuse. And it's going to be oh. just fine. Also, nice transfuse. Wanna, Go ahead. One thing I want to bring to your attention is Father Graham has almost 2,000 minerals saved up. So I'm thinking Queen. he's going to go Queen Fester, which he also did uh, the last couple of games. Yes. He just bought the gas, so he's definitely going Queen Fester. All right, so you oh. can see he's at 17. It's going to take him a little while and a and lot of lag. And he the Really? <laughs> yeah, he embowered it right before his enemy, so... Oh, no. Oh, wow, look at Min's coming in. Bottom left-hand side is going to have to save this. There's a lot of lag going down. There's one save. There it goes. It does pop, and he needs to back out. He needs to back out. No, he was able to get the compound, and he lost all that army. Oh, no, I think they're going for it. It looked like Grim and, uh, and Min's, were, they were going to go for it. But instead, uh -huh. they backed out. Oh, no. Bottom left could be wiped out. I, I think they should wipe him out. What are they doing? It looks like they're just worried maybe from top right uh, coming in doing some tricky business. But uh, they, they do have him backed out. And, and what is what are they doing? Okay, the Chrono Boost is coming out on the spawning pool. A lot of Cracklings are coming out. Bottom left. Oh, no. Bottom left is in so much trouble. Throw down some bunkers. We need to see some planetary fortresses. What's going on? Uh, they, don't they don't have, have enough. The they don't have the money. Well, a Doomhammer oh. does. He has enough, but he's not getting a Planetary Fortress. And while surprising, top left is, is deciding to back out for now and instead engaging right side. I almost feel like at that moment, though, they could have done something. And, ooh, Min's actually losing a lot of links here. Uh, unnecessarily. It looks like he's he's too far behind. He needs to get a little bit closer. Ooh. He's I think almost going down. And looking at the points tab real quick, guys, I don't want to take away too much from the action, but Grim is at 15, uh, 316 mins. He's stuck. He's at 9,414. It is going to go up, though, if this continues. If he, if he keeps by, uh, fighting, bottom left-hand side, getting tongue-tied. Holy cow. It looks like second place is going to be EXE and Sizen. They're at 10 and 12, respectively. Bottom left-hand side is at 10,378. Psycho Rabbit, not that far behind from mins, but he is still behind. They're going to be in third. And bottom right, oh, it seemed, they seem to be the feed corner at this point. They've been in fourth place the entire game. And this is not going to be a, a good surround for Doom. He's going to lose all those units. Fungal goes down. He does warp in. He's trying to get the barracks, but Transfuse, that's going to deny it. Wait. No, he was able to get it. Oh, he didn't have enough. He didn't have enough in the support tower to Transfuse. And so even though uh, Doomhammer did lose a lot of units there, picking up that uh, supply was definitely worth it. Back in action, it says. And back in action indeed, Doomhammer, oh no, save up buddy, save. You don't need to be wasting any more warps, you have to save. Guys, remember, if even if you're playing EU or US, uh, yes, every attack does get you money, but with the warps, you have to be so careful. Every unit is precious. And uh, it was just unfortunate. If you could see, Doomhammer just did not get the good surround uh, on bottom right. It looks like a lot of his units got trapped on that legend. Look at this. He's going after Grim Reaper. He's just throwing away units here at this point. And uh, uh, bottom left is going to be in so much trouble if this continues. Looks like the storm does go down. Sam is hes kind of stuck. No, he's backing out. And I really think that top left needs to fight bottom left at this point. There is a ghost right there. And look at this. They're uncontested right now. There's nobody coming in. This this is it. Guys, bottom left is going to be wiped out at this point. It looks like Samim. No, Samim is actually backing out. There's no contention here. Bottom left is going down. We're seeing it right here, guys. Your first team to be eliminated is going to be Doomhammer and Psycho Rabbit. If this onslaught continues, and it is... There we go, the GG, Psycho Rabbit, he's going to be taken out. Oh my gosh, Doomhammer, Psycho Rabbit, they are eliminated. That ghost, if there's a scan goes down, he's going to be eliminated too. And first team, oh, team one has been eliminated.
unbelievable. Oh, great pickup from top left. They're doing so well. Team two. Unreal. Looking at the points tab, 17,448 mins, 11,592. There's no question. They're in first place right now. But remember, this is still anyone's game, guys. Anything could happen. And this is the best of three, so they're still going to have to win one more game. If Grimm and Mins can win, they will have to still win one more battle. So they're not out completely. Guys, stay tuned. These players are still in it. It's still anyone's game. And we're actually approaching the one hour mark. Void, if you would like to announce that for us. As soon as it hits the sure. one hour mark, just let them know. Thank you, Void. Very nice. No problem. Really unfortunate that Monty uh, had to go. Uh... Well, hopefully, hopefully Monty is at home. He's he can still see the action uh, on Rage TV. And guys, remember to let everybody know the finals are happening right now. I can only see about thirty viewers. That's about twenty six right now. So we're actually missing some viewers. Let them know, guys. Wake them up and tell them that uh, that this is happening right now. We ha it's this is the finals, guys. Tune in Rage TV. We are broadcasting right now. Team Liquid has a. Uh, has us up right there on their uh, StarCraft 2 tournament section. So oh, cool. uh, let them know. Yeah, it's very cool. And uh, Father Graham is uh, morphing the Queen Fester right now. Nice. There it goes. Ooh, lots of lag when I zoom in. That scan. Oh, there we go. Seeker missile. And look at this. Minz is pushing into the army. Is there a save for bottom right? <gasps> no. No, wait. Is there? No, there's no save. No, there is not, because it's sudden death, so there's no save here. Oh my gosh, and he's going straight in. Will he be able to pick up the queen? I think he should have focused that queen. Uh, no, instead he's focusing the army. And, uh oh no, 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 Grim, if you go in too far, Sizen could surround you. Be careful, he, oh, does he have the vision? He does. He does have the Zelnaga vision. So he does know, he does see that the army is coming in, and I think he's just going to go for it. Where's the recall? Storm does go down. Okay, he doesn't need a recall. It looks like Minz coming in from the backside. Great team play by Minz and Grim. This is incredible. Uh, no favorites here. I'm just, I'm just seeing what I'm seeing, and this is incredible. I gotta say, compliments to top left. They're doing so well, and Salmon could be taken out. Boom! The CC goes down, and Father Graham is gonna go down. Your second team to be eliminated. Oh, and the Queen Fester went down as well. Unbelievable. Only two teams left. Whew, GG comes out of Father Graham. And looking at the points tab... Oh, wait. Uh, da, 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 there we go. It looks like Grim Reaper at 20,000, Min's at 14. And uh, EXE and Sizem are ahead of everyone else. So it looks like, yes, you're uh, at least second, first and second place here. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's going to be Grim's and, and, and Min's, EXE and Sizem. And yes, if you guys happen to be playing, please respect the uh, referee. And when he says to leave, you have to leave. As soon as your CC goes down, please just go ahead and, and exit the game. And uh, has has he gone yet? No, he's, he's actually still in game. Um, can we pause? He needs to leave. We, we do this to avoid screen cheating, guys. Sorry. And... Uh, There we go. Thank you, Void. No problem. Very nice. What a good ref. Thank you very much. Okay. Nice concave coming up from top right, though. Looks like Grim lost a lot of units. And you know what, guys? You know, he... he listen, we do say to leave. It might sound aggressive, but it's necessary, so don't take it to heart. You know, uh, it's just rules are rules. You have to leave, so we we can't be nice about it. Um, wow, they aren't they aren't uh, taking the center beacon. They're missing out a lot of income. They are, and uh, you know what? I think they're so used to playing without with the bug that they they don't they're not even caring right now. So uh, perhaps for game two, 
We should just remind everybody that yes, with sudden death active, there is income from the middle. Um, that well, way, everybody knows. They have three knows. out of uh, four watchtowers, so they are still getting a lot of money. They are. Now, uh, we were talking with Thalmulf. Void, can you can you clear up? Do you know exactly how many minerals for each tower and the middle beacon is? Um, I'm not sure, but I believe it was 50 minerals for the beacon every 20 seconds, and uh, 20 minerals every 20 seconds for the uh, watchtowers. Uh, so it's it's less minerals for the beacon. No, fifty minerals for the beacon. Oh, 50, and 50. Twi and twenty for the watchtower. Gotcha. So. So that's that is that's a lot of money. Nice storm coming down from top right. It looks like top right is going to be eliminated. Oh my gosh, storm's going down, and the 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 BC does fall. Another BC could be in trouble. Nope, he's going to be able to survive, but. I mean, they did even... snipe the mercenary compound. They did. Can you even call this survival? Look at this. The the BCs are almost dead. There's no energy for the support tower. Why is it going uh, zealots? Uh, was that a misclick? I'm you know, he's sure. he's chronoing them out. Is he gonna change them to temples? Or warps? What is, what is this? This is strange. A really interesting choice. Uh, the Marangers counter those Goliaths, so perhaps a tech change, at least from Sizan, could be... Uh, it's, I mean, look at this. The Krakenes even counter them. I believe. Yeah, they do damage to Armored. So, uh, really, the Zealots just are, are not a favorable choice at this point. And there we go. GG. Well played. And there we go. Your winner's here for the first round of the finals! Unbelievable. Great game, guys. Your winners are going to be Envy's Grim Reaper and Men's. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to go for a short break, and uh, we'll, we will be back. <laughs> nice force field and storms. <laughs> we will be back in just a moment. Uh, we're going to take about a 10-minute break. It's been requested from the players that they have at least a 10-minute break interval. Uh, between the games so we could see a possibly a 10 minute break that way the, the players can have a little bit of a rest and we will have round two of the finals happening here on rage tv Wow, a very nice game, Void. Indeed. Are you still streaming, by the way, or? No, 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 no. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I w it, it is. Yeah, it's uh, it's got a, it's got that ten minute delay, so. Oh, okay. Just playing a little bit, but I will be stopping the stream in three, two, one.